ATS has released their newest family of products and services flat and round heat pipes with heat pipe design services. Heat pipes are closed evaporator condenser systems with a very high heat flux transport capability. Heat pipes consist of an evaporator, an adiabatic section, and a condenser section. Various working fluids are used in the heat pipe to transport the heat energy. Generally, the type of working fluid determines the heat transport capability. Finally, a heat pipe includes a wick. The working fluid is returned from the condenser to the evaporator via capillary action through a heat pipe's wick. Homogeneous wicks are constructed of one type of material or machining technique. Examples include wrapped screen, sintered powdered metal, axial groove, and many others. ATS's off-the-shelf heat pipes use both sintered powder metal and grooved wicks because they are cost-effective and provide high thermal conductivity. ATS's sintered powder metal heat pipes have the added advantage of being able to handle high heat fluxes and deployment in any orientation, even against gravity. ATS designed services can custom develop heat pipe solutions including both homogeneous and composite wicks depending on the application. The choice of fluid depends on what operating range the heat pipe needs to function in and the metal which the heat pipe is made of. Water has a useful operating range of 30 to 200 degrees C, ammonia has a useful operating range of 60 to 100 degrees C, sodium has a useful operating range of 600 to 1200 degrees C. ATS uses distilled water in their off-the-shelf flat and round heat pipes as it is cost-effective and can be used in a wide temperature range. For more extreme temperature ranges, ATS is experienced with mercury, methanol, liquid ammonia, and other working fluids they can design with. While application determines fluid types, which fluid is the most common? Cooling Zone ran an engineering poll in April 2014 and found the top three fluid types to be water, liquid ammonia, and methanol. Heat pipes can be fabricated from various material types that are compatible with the working fluids being used. Proper material choices reduces the chance for working fluid and material interaction, heat pipe degradation, and failure. Material types include copper, aluminum, and stainless steel. This list shows some of the compatible material and working fluid combinations. ATS's flat and round heat pipes are made of copper to cover the broadest temperature range with a cost-effective solution. ATS can design with other metals and advise customers on application-specific solutions with careful consideration for the cost-benefit trade-offs of the materials and working fluids. Heat pipes come in various shapes and sizes, though the most common are either round or flat heat pipes. Heat pipes can be bent as required for both system and thermal requirements. Round heat pipes are generally used for transferring heat energy from one point to another, Flat heat pipes, also known as vapor chambers, work conceptually the same as round heat pipes, but their shape allows for different applications. Applications can include embedded heat pipes and heat sinks, such as ATS's MaxiFlow heatsink family or ATS's pushpin heatsink family, laptop computers, embedded heat pipes for single board computers, military applications, RF, telecommunications applications, and server cloud computing. Heat pipes work as follows. Heat applied externally to the evaporator section is conducted through the pipe wall and wick structure where it vaporizes the working fluid. The resulting vapor pressure drives the vapor through the adiabatic section to the condenser where the vapor condenses, releasing its latent heat and vaporization to the provided heat sink. The capillary pressure created by the menisci in the wick pumps the condensed fluid back to the evaporator section. Therefore, the heat pipe can continuously transport the latent heat of vaporization from the evaporator to the condenser section. This process will continue as long as there is a sufficient capillary pressure to drive the condensate back to the evaporator. ATS brings their strengths in test, analysis, qualification, and design services to their heat pipe line. ATS's heat pipes are tested in their own thermal lab, resulting in data that ATS publishes based on their own characterizations. For applications, ATS Design Services offers a complete solution from testing through prototypes. ATS's MaxiFlow heatsink and pushpin heatsinks can both be deployed as the condenser, making the heat pipe solution even more efficient. For more information on ATS's heat pipes and heat pipe solutions, please visit qats.com or email us at ats-hq at qats.com.